I think this is less of an iteration of an idea that already existed and more of a innovation revolution. We tried everything and we were able to make nothing. Well, in 2007, that's kind of the first time we, we encountered this plumafil insulation technology. It was pretty much a holy grail to find something that was all the things that we get with down, lightweight, warm, compressible. Some of the things that we get with synthetic, warm when it's wet, dries fast, high warmth to weight value. We worked on it for like two years or something, and we, we shelved it because we just couldn't get it washed through. And it came back a couple years later with a slightly different version of it. Performance-wise, it blew everyone else out of the water. It was trapping air just as effectively with less material. We got excited because it was our lightest, warmest garment. It feels like almost like nothing, light years beyond down. This was the first insulation that I'd ever seen that still lofted up after 24-hour killer wash. I've never seen anything come close to that before. Because it's a new synthesized insulation with the lofted down, we had to figure out a way to produce it in a way that would be stable. The idea was using this non-continuous quilting technique that locks down the insulation. It's so compressible, and I can just throw it in my pack. And when I pull it out, it doesn't take any time to loft back up. The best part about it is that when it gets wet, it stayed super lofty and warm. The next step was putting them together into a great fitting garment that's super light and warm. Once all that research started to be proven in the field, we started to realize that we were sitting on the newest icon here in insulation.